As the pandemic began to become real and people realized that concert halls weren't going to open tomorrow, maybe a little longer, the question started to come up, should I give up touring? Is there a place for touring? Will there be a place for live arts anymore? And the answer made, I mean, the question made me laugh because the answer is so clearly, there's a place for live art. Art comes from living and it comes from being together and sharing an experience. So if you ask me, I would say, are you kidding? Don't give it up. But I can appreciate that the entire structure has been overturned and we've all had to adapt. And some people have even made the sad decision to stop performing in any way and move on to something else, a new chapter in their lives. But for those who want to stay in the arts and as performers, we can certainly move back onto the stages of the world and create wonderful opportunities for that experience, which is really unique to the live performing arts, where people share the air, the, the resonance of sound and experience together. So don't give it up. But do learn the lessons that we have discovered in the course of the pandemic. The lessons of what we can do beyond the live art, beyond the, the stage, with cameras, with film, with video of performances, of introductions, of close-up camera shots, visits backstage, um, pedagogical capsules. Learn what the potential is and how to use that potential legally, uh, strategically, and to enhance the experience and the understanding of the audience and to expand your possibility to share your art with a wider public. So let's stay focused on getting back to a really healthy, thriving performance world of live performance and let's use the skills and the understanding we have developed in these last months in particular about using the digital universe to the benefit of all.